It's about time. I moved on to another region. Back to where the game first started in the flashback. Should be a good one. Materia. headed for Nibelheim. Huh. Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. What button do I press to change Red's voice back to how it used to be? Uh, Kate? I meant to tell you before, but the terminal's probably gone. Nibelheim burned down five years ago. It did. Aye. Not to worry, though. The terminal is as snug as a bug in a rug. Because Shinra wasn't about to let that facility burn down. Three, Meaning the reactor? Two, yeah. Well, that's important, too. But no. I'm no expert on Nibelheim. But what I do know is that it's the only lead we have on that materia. So, not much choice. Yeah. It's this or nothing. We should get going. Might as well get that chocobo intel. Something tells me we're in chocobo territory. I guess I gotta go up the hill because these two are just looking right at me. So what's hiding up here? This is gonna take a while. I gotta throw the bait and then wait and make sure you don't hit any of the... <laughs> oh man, so now that that's shrinking now throw that and then when you're in the middle of that another one is going to shrink and here we go the final stretch and i might have to do another one because if that comes back yeah let me move you right here just in case that comes back i'm not trying to hear it here we go uh oh should i keep rolling or should i just take my sweet little oh it doesn't see me how did he not see me? This grass is cheese. Gotcha. Good bird. And this might be the best chocobo yet, because look at this cheese. We're just making it splash, and we're letting it fly at the same time. <laughs> we're in monster territory now. Rare Disgorgon variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. As the Disgorgon evolved, it grew exponentially in size until it could no longer fly. At the same time, however, it began to produce a deadly toxin. This toxin is found in its cheeks and jaw, and can be stored in large quantities. It's created from the insects that form a staple of the Disgorgon's diet. The toxin's properties vary from species to species, and are dictated by the type of insects consumed. This variant, for instance, is capable of paralyzing its prey, so caution is advised. Nevertheless, we mustn't let such dangers deter us. A new region means new enemies to put down to the ground. 
Let me get that assess popping quickly. Look at that ATB boost. It's weak to ice. Every slice of this sword has ice. Let me just throw that out just in case. Because I hate that static effect. Jeez. Gotta protect myself. So they want us to pressure and stagger. I don't know if we'll do all that. Oh! Look at that. The enemy skill actually triggered Yuffie's. That normally doesn't happen. I thought I had to use Braver or one of the other ones. But now it's working. Did they patch it? I don't know. That's beautiful, though. Halfway on your health, just about. And I might as well let a mind blast fly. Ah, that barely even increased the stagger, but the health. We're about to pack it up. A few more swipes. Oh, we're getting hit back. It's not really doing any damage, though. That's interesting. That's fine. You can do that. Oh, weakness. Every hit is weakness. It doesn't like that. Oh, there goes the quake again. <laughs> oh, we're cheesing. Well, that was glorious. I can't see any full marks. Objectives yet remain. Slumbering within the Nebel Sanctuary is Odin, the patron knight of war and death. He rides in from the land of the dead, a strident steed slain here, claiming the souls of fallen warriors as his own. Or so the stories say. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Dangerous fiends may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare Valron variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. It is thought that the ominous coloring of this variant is meant to intimidate its enemies. This corresponds with its aggressive nature. Once it finds prey, it attacks in a frenzy. As an aside, Valrons were sighted in this area only after the Mako reactor was constructed. Because of its humanoid form, there were rumors at the time that these creatures were actually humans who had undergone a horrific transformation due to Mako exposure. Setting aside the veracity of these claims, one thing is certain. The advent of the reactor coincided with the Valrons' appearance. This could be a good opportunity to delve into the mysteries of their origins. I'm ready to add you to the collection. Let's see what's going on. There's two of them. That's fine, but ah, oh, these are the enemies that do that cheese and you gotta wait. Cause if you hit them when they do that, bad things happen. So now I can slice. Are you trying to do a step back move? It tried to cross me over. You have been officially added to the collection. Let's go. And there goes Yuffie. She let the poison fly and she let the quake fly. That was hella glitchy. She's alternating what she's sending. That is beautiful. That's what I love about having the, the material that has two different spells on it. That's very nice. Because now that I have her doing that, I don't even have to use her MP, but really I should, because she's got 103. Oh, the quake took you down to the ground. Stellar performance, Cloud. I can't thank you enough for providing such valuable combat intel. I'll use this data to further enhance my guidance functionality. That would be a grave misuse of our resources. Requesting attitude adjustment. In any case, I've utilized the data for a new challenge. Feel free to access it via the combat simulator when you have the time. Cloud. By analyzing the LifeSpring data, 
I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. It should be on a nearby island. Once they discovered Mako in the area, Shinra established an offshore outpost. Oh, but they've long since vacated the isle, so I doubt you'll run afoul of their forces. Splendid synchronization! Let's hope our investigation of other shrines goes as smoothly. Look at how we're landing in this battle with the splash, let it fly, cheese. Be warned, Cloud. You have entered the King Zeus domain. This is a highly dangerous fiend. Proceed with extreme caution. With the entrance we made for this fight, it should be a good one. I got the two bars already. I love starting off the fight like that. Oh, the lightning, it doesn't like that. I've got plenty of lightning and Barrett has lightning on all of his shots. So this is gonna be a problem because I got the fire and ice on my sword. He's got the lightning and wind on his gun. Look at that, look at all that weakness. Oh, we're going crazy. And maybe I should, ah, I guess it doesn't matter because we, we have it covered because Yuffie can also switch over. How come she didn't switch over? She put doppelganger. She didn't add the thunder. That's interesting. Maybe she'll do that with her second bar. She's about to get it. And actually, you know what? I think I should have gone for the wing. Take the wing out. So let me do that here. Let's do a braver left wing. Ooh, what a slice. I crippled it, and there goes the quake right behind. We're cheesing. I got another one. Do it again to the right wing. Cripple this thing. It's got status effects. Look, it's got that poison. It's got that petrify. Oh, wow, they're done. What? Oh, how did that happen? Ooh. Okay. This should be interesting. Can I survive this by myself? No Yuffie, no Barret. And I don't have revive. Let me try the soothing breeze. Oh, that didn't, you know what? I got a limit breaker though. Let that limit fly. Let that limit, this should do it. This is gonna hurt. Oh, you're almost done. A few more hits. I'm blocking like a boss. Oh, <laughs> what a fight. I don't even know how they went down to the ground. He did some kind of attack and they were just out of there. Excellent work dethroning the King Zoo. Attempting to prey upon you proved his undoing. And without that winged terror flying around, the sky 
skies are clear once more. Those robed folks must be breathing a collective sigh of relief. My sensors indicate the presence of a unique life form. Rare Nebel Wolf variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. The wolves of this region maintain a strict hierarchy. The pack leader is said to be imbued with an azure flame, which gives its fur a distinct hue. As the leader, this wolf will often distract prey, allowing for its pack mates to sneak up and catch their quarry by surprise. They are highly intelligent to say the least. In fact, there are countless stories of these wolves turning the tables on would-be poachers. We may never get a better chance to study the ways of this clever creature. So go get that data, but watch out for its friends. This should be easy enough, but you know what? That last battle, the fact that he has an ability, he has a move that can just insta-kill everybody, that's a problem. We got to practice and get our act together because you already know other bosses are going to be doing the same cheese where they're going to be able to just take us out in one hit. And I don't know how you stop that because when I looked right, when I assessed that secret enemy, it didn't say anything about that. It just said after it does a certain attack, you can hit it and then that'll do lethal damage. But it didn't say it's going to one shot your whole team. And I don't even know how I got the health back because the reprieve it activated and these that you know what it is these enemies are always so tough these wolves they don't play around okay that one's almost down to the ground how about you get rid of you a few more hits nice oh we got all the objectives for that I suspect it wasn't much of a challenge. Rare Cuvaldon variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Note the distinct shape of its upper jaw. That sharp, many-toothed appendage allows it to skewer prey. The Cuvaldon then uses its forelegs to bring the impaled meal to its mouth. These voracious omnivores will eat anything they find including plants, animals, and even corpses of fiends. Depending on what they've devoured recently, their appearance and physical capabilities may vary. While individuals do not pose much of a threat, they can be extremely dangerous in large groups. Calling these fiends will help keep the nearby village and farmsteads safe from their appetites. So this is funny. None of these fiends are going to be as strong as that secret intel. Normally, you can't do the secret until you do all the other ones. So that's interesting. I guess just the way that I was exploring the area, it just opened up. That's funny. These things are pretty easy. Only thing is, how can we stagger without killing them? I think we're too powerful. So that's a challenge I would have to do again. But let me try it. Let that fly. Okay, you're pressured. But that's not enough to stagger. See, now you're dead. And then you, you probably don't. Yeah, you don't have any health left. So we can't stagger. See that? We failed that. But we got the other two. Polish off those objectives next time. Well done. You've completed all combat assignments in Nebel. No doubt thanks to my quality guidance. Or in spite of your excessive chatter, I need to adjust the speech frequency setting. No! Stop him, Cloud! He's trying to silence me! Anyway, Thanks to your hard work, Cloud, I was able to devise another combat trial. I'm confident this one will pose quite a challenge. Would you mind rounding up all the Mooglets for me? This time we only got three minutes. That's a splash. Let's see if I can make this easy. Make this quick work. Turn that on. And I got a hustle. You're throwing out those bananas. Grab, grab. Gotcha. And actually, that's water. I don't know if I can grab and hold through the water. This should be okay because we're almost there. So number one, you're going in there easy. Just avoid that. 
Nice. Not bad at all. Okay, how about you? You're right here. Actually, you should be easy because look at that. All I got to do is just push you forward. Oh, I didn't get hit by that. I got lucky. Another tornado. That's the only thing that helps you. Try that again. Here we go. Yeah, you're so dumb, aren't you? Yeah, you're not that bright. Uh-huh. Turn on the jets. Two more in the back there. And I could just drop you right in. Oh, it tried to shot clock cheese and get out of there last second. This is absolutely ridiculous. It looks like the world is ending the way that all these things are just flying. <laughs> Comets out of the sky. This is hilarious. Okay, you're in there. One more left. Not bad at all. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. No, back this way. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no. I tried to see. Look, I was pointing the other way. I don't know how that happened. Nice. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. You're a true hero. Every single Emporium is once again open for business, Koopo. It was Mog and Mag's hope that these special shops would bring happiness to folks all throughout the world, Koopo. And that dream lived on, passed down to their children, and their children's children, and so on, for countless generations. One day, these Mooglets will inherit that legacy, like those before them. Oh, before I forget, I have a super duper amazing present for you to thank you for all your help. You're gonna love it. Koopo? Koopo! Koopo! Koopo. Go on now, be good hosts, and show our guest how it's done. So what did you think? <laughs> Not bad, Koopo. and I will continue our efforts to spread joy all over the world. Also, we found a bunch of rare and exotic items you won't want to miss out on. Come see for yourself, Koopo! It was worth its skill points for Barrett and also for Yuffie. The only way to max out my weapon level is to get these. My songs, he quit the game. Lob City and my camo are now available on all streaming platforms. Super Bowl 60 versus the Buffalo Bills. Try to go for 10. Oh, they're sending a mean blitz. Ooh, nobody covers. <laughs> Our halfback Pollard is wide open. Touchdown. They're taking risk in the